What's up everyone, JJ Anjit here from TGN Technology and the Droid Syndicate team here to do a video on AOKP Jelly Bean on the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So basically this is a full featured AOKP unofficial ROM so it's not going to have all the features but it is going to have some AOKP features that lots of you love. Now there are some bugs though. Now the OP says that there aren't any bugs but there actually are. I've had numerous complaints from signal strength issues with Wi-Fi and cellular data so keep in mind that you may have signal strength issues with the latest builds but I'm pretty sure he'll get right on that with the kernel I heard that there are some little changes that he has to do with the kernel to fix that but yeah it's all smooth just like Jelly Bean and yeah let's hop into settings go to about phone and you can see right down here, Android version 4.1.1, Jelly Bean. Hold down the Jelly Bean. You get to play with all the Jelly Beans. Go back and you see AOKB version unknown. And that's because it's an unofficial version. So it's unofficial. It's not an official AOKP build yet. But yeah, if you go back and you scroll up, you can see that we have ROM control. And this is where all the nice AOKP tweaks come in. So general UI you can pretty much change the volume panel and the notification count so when you click on that if you have numerous emails it's going to show you how many emails you have now let's go into the clock in the clock we have different styles so of course you have center clock and no clock so if you click on center clock it's obviously going to show it in the center and then no clock it's just not even going to show the clock just like that now we also have AM PM styles so you can edit the AM PM if you want it to show you can have it small regular or the protect o'clock I have no idea what that is supposed to do it just says 9999 so if you want to tell me what that is <laughs> then I'd be glad to know day of the week and you can also have day of the week so small weekday it'll show it up right there Sunday regular weekday it's gonna show a little bigger and yeah it's pretty cool and we also have toggles so if you go in toggles you can choose which toggles you want to display and these are pretty much all the toggles so you have all these toggles and this is pretty cool so if you want to enable torch and airplane mode close that and then we go on the toggles you can see here that you have all of those toggles now so if you click on torch it's going to light up hopefully it'll light up looks like it's there we go now it's lit up but yeah you also have airplane mode and I also did notice that you have swagger mode now I did get numerous um, mentions that Swagger Mode can eliminate lactose and acid based products from your web searches. You can also see uh, unicorns pooping out rainbows as well as more confidence. Now I have no idea what the Swagger Mode does, but let's go ahead and turn it on and now we have Swagger. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and toggle layout. You can actually edit the layout so if you want it to be sort of like a power control bar like it is now, you can also have it like this so you can have it sort of like a settings toggle for ice cream sandwich and that's a pretty cool feature as well toggle style um, you can have icon only or text only so if you want icon only it's really just going to show you the icons it's not going to have any text but if you go back here it will show some text now you can also reset the toggles so if your friend gives you a bunch of toggles that you don't want you can always reset them so that's a pretty nice feature as well now in the battery you also have battery icon styles and this is pretty cool so Let's say you want circle mode, it's going to show a little circle with some bars around it and a percentage in the middle. So that's pretty cool. You can have icon with centered percentage, um, center text actually, but it does give you the centered percentage as well with the text. And that's pretty cool. Icon with text is going to show off right up to the side and also text only. So it'll show you just the percentage, but I prefer to have icon only. And you can also have no battery. So I don't know if you guys don't want to see your battery life, you can always have no battery. And also battery icon notification, so when you get a notification, the battery icon will show up where all the clear all buttons show up. And you can also battery bar location, so if you want the status bar, you can see that sort of a bar right up there, it'll show you your battery top of nav bar right down here. You can see the battery bar right down here. And also, you can have bottom of nav bar, so you can see it's right down here. And that is pretty cool if you want it to have that. But I sort of like it, um, I just like to hide it. I don't really like battery bars. Battery bar style, you can always have center mirrored. So when you click on this, it's sort of going to be a center and it's going to sort of go ahead and sort of drop towards the middle when it's uh, losing battery life. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. If you go in charging animation, you can actually see your charging animation that you usually would have. 
and also battery bar color. Now this, I've never gotten it to work with me for some reason. Usually it should change it. You would think, you know what, I'm actually wrong on this. I think that if you enable that, there you go. So if you enable the battery bar, then you can actually see the color there. So you can change that to a nice green if you want it to be green. So yeah, that's pretty cool, but as you guys already know, I don't really like the battery bar. You can also edit the thickness, so let's go ahead and enable it again so you guys can see. Battery bar thickness, 40Ps, and you can see right there, that's pretty cool. So you can have a, a sort of like a big battery bar, and that's always pretty cool. Now if you go back, you can see that you have navigation bar, and this is pretty much going to edit all these navigation buttons down here. So let's say... If you want four buttons, go ahead and go up here to navigation button quantity, click on four, and you can actually add one now. So if you want it to be a menu button, you can press menu, and now you have a little menu button, and you can press menu right there. And when you press menu, you actually have an option to reset the navigation bar, so that's pretty cool. Or you can always go up here. So if someone adds like, I don't know, like five buttons, then you can always just reset it as you would normally. And also navigation bar height, I don't really mess around with that stuff, but if you, don't, if you don't really like the placement of the navigation buttons down here, then you can always change that as well. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Change it to 3. Alright, now let's go back. And yeah, this is pretty cool ROM. It does come with music, so this is pretty much your stock music app. Um, does come with pretty much just the Play Store and Gmail, that's the only Google Apps that I found to be working on it with right out of the box. It does come with Gmail and Play Store, that's pretty much the only Google Apps it does come with, so that is pretty cool. Now if we hop into camera, you can see here, let's go ahead and take a picture, you can see that Focus now works, so Focus sometimes doesn't work with the CM10 builds on Jelly Bean, so if you go and take a picture, you can just slide over and see that, and that is pretty cool. So yeah guys, that's AOKP Jelly Bean on the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. If you want to check this out, go ahead and be sure to watch my how to install video. If you don't know how to install it, all you gotta do is just do a standard wipe data and then factory reset and then just go ahead and flash the ROM along with the Google Apps. But if you want to have a step-by-step -step walkthrough, I'll have a how to install link into the description. But yeah, this is a really great ROM. Once they get signal strength reporting, um, signal strength, just signal strength fixed, then it's just going to be awesome. I love AOKP. I love what they do. And we can actually turn our swagger mode on. Is there swagger on? Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we got swagger now. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.